Hello everyone, it's Zenith here and today I'm going to be playing a bit of Solar 2. Now this game's currently available on Steam as you can see by my uh, overlay coming out there. Uh, it's not that expensive, I believe I paid maybe, what, £4 for it? And uh, it's quite a good game as you will soon see. Okay, so here we are in game. You start off as a little asteroid floating through space without a care in the world. And the idea is you crash into other asteroids, obviously ruining their day, and gain mass. And for some reason he didn't want to be absorbed. Ah, but he did! So, as you can see in the top left hand corner of the screen, I mean it's a very simple game, you've only got that at the moment. Uh, my mass is increasing, every asteroid I hit, it increases, and soon I will become a small planet, hopefully. Uh, oh no, I missed! I'm controlling it, by the way, with the arrow keys, WSMT. Okay, oh, it is available to play with a controller, so I really believe that would work with analog sticks. I've got a controller here. Unfortunately, I'm not running it with it, so... I believe it would be analog stick. Anyway, so now uh, I'm this little purple planet, and I'm trying to... Put ah, there we go. I've pulled the asteroid into my orbit. And you can pull more than one. And the idea at this stage of the game is you uh, obtain the moons, so to speak, and then absorb them. And as you absorb them, your mass increases. So, you know, just floating around space, absorbing mass, and generally having a good old time. Press control, and they will absorb at once. So, yeah, if you're looking for a game which is uh, a calming thing, then I'd look no further, really. I mean, it's a, I think it's very underrated. I don't hear many people talking about it. And it does its job well. It's a good... Uh, and it is difficult, as you will probably soon see. Because when you get to the mission stage, oh, jeez, they are really difficult. Especially some of the escort missions. Like, you have to escort a planet and it gets attacked. Oh, it's ridiculous. I should get to that soon. I'm currently trying to increase in mass to become a life planet, so I'll sustain life. And I'll be all happy about that when they pollute my surface and ruin everything, steal my resources. Dirty bastards. Oh, oh, whoa! Whoa, that was close. I don't want to crash into me. Oh dear. Uh, if you crash into things, naturally you lose mass. If you crash into a planet of the same size, I imagine it completely destroys you if you're travelling at a decent enough speed. I mean, if I had crashed into that, I probably would have lost either a considerable amount of mass or, whoa, we don't want to be near this. You see, though, that planet there on the top right, the green planet has guns on it. He's sustained life and he's got his own fleet, so to speak, so going around bullying all the plants which don't for a couple of years. Now I have life and as you can see on the left I have an evolution bar. They are evolving and as you can see on my planet like a is that like a radiation thing or that? What is it trying to say? I don't want nukes. They're polluting me. Dun 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 a space odyssey. There we go, okay, I have my... I have a shield now. And a ship! Look at that, there he goes! Oh wow, I feel better already. I just absorb these, so... The only problem with ships is they destroy... Uh... Oh, whoa, okay, right, that was a bad idea. They just wiped out my population. Sorry, guys. Lovely mass. And the soundtrack to this is amazing. Nom nom nom. Gotta love that mass. There we go, I've got a shield back now, I'm all good. Oh. Yeah, they fought. Oh! He sacrificed himself. Oh, 
I've got guns, see? I'm a boss now. Don't want to mess with me, boy. Right, I'm currently uh, trying to get enough mass to uh, evolve. I don't want to say that really well. Uh, to become a small star, and if that thing's following me, I don't like that. Okay, and this is a solar system here. Yeah? The star in the middle. It's highly uh, evolved. I want to stay away from there. Oh, don't chase me! Chase them into the asteroid field. You wouldn't dare. Oh, I've got a little rocket ship now. a very uh, calming game really. You have a stressful day, you want to sit back and relax for a bit. You want to be a planet I guess. I don't know anyone who has that urge. I don't really come home and think I know what I want. I want to be a planet today. That's a bit obscure. <laughs> Pick him up! Oh dear! I have shields man. Meteorites can't do shit. Oh, well, that one just flew off. Uh, that's another thing which is amazing about this game, the physics engine. You can actually edit the... Uh, in fact, I might do that now. Let's uh, edit the physics options, shall we? Right, if we increase... Oh, I don't really want to... This is going to be awful. Right, here we go. I've increased the gravitation to 2.8 of what it's supposed to be. And now we should be picking up things a lot easier. The problem is, if we go anywhere near like a star or anything, it's going to pull me straight in and I really don't want that to happen. I wonder if I can... No, I'm not big enough to pull another plane into a orbit. Whoa! Oh, those are like neutral. They like got kicked out of their planet. They're like they they don't like anyone. You wanna stay away from them. Alright, do you wanna see a mission show? Let's go and do a mission. What's this this arrow one looks pretty uh fun could you, you do you see the arrows on my screen? They're pointing to the nearest mission. Here we go, is a mission. I don't like this location though. Ow, ow, oh my oh god! Kill him! Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, where is that uh, mission thing? Oh, right, I've accepted it. Oh, I've got to go to the arrow and not hit anything. Otherwise, that's bad. I don't know. That guy, little dude, is like, I don't know, apparent, I don't know, like maybe God, I suppose. Like the creator of the universe. Oh. It's okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, oh yeah, of course the gravity needs increase, isn't it? Oh dear. It's not good. As you can see, I'm 38% of the way there. Hooray! And the faster you go, the nicer it. Like it's like the whip, like a whip effect where you like fly past asteroids. It's a lot easier to pull them into orbit if you're traveling really fast. It's also a lot easier to travel straight into other planets. Oh, it's up here, is it? Right. Follow the oh. Oh, what? Oh, I failed. I'm terrible. Right, that's just... I want to be a star, can you? Being a planet is dull. How much more mass do I need? Come on. There we go. I've worked out all life on my planet. I'm a bastard. Right, I'm going to absorb you now, boy. I'm not. So yeah, now you, uh... Oh yeah, the gravity's... See the effect I have when I go near things? It, like, pulls them in. And pull you in. Or not. Come on. 
Yeah. Nom nom nom. I can have a total of three planets in my orbit from a small star. Whoa. That's pretty awesome. Juicy! I wonder if I can find one with life. That would be quite entertaining. Ah, he's got a life coming. There we go. Let's wait for him to evolve. And I'll eat him. Oh, he's a bigger star, he is. There he is. Juicy. Oh, I'm a medium star now. Okay, now I'll increase the amount of planets I can. Where is everyone? Whoa! See those dodging skills? Okay, yeah, so try this mission over here. I want that, that planet first. It's getting a lot harder to control because I don't know, maybe my gravitational pull is having a direct effect on it. Okay, kid. Yeah, I could be the champ. Take down this star system. What? I have nothing to take it down with. What do you propose? This is gonna go horribly. Oh, yeah, um, about that. I'm leaving. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I will. Come here, you. I ain't letting him get away with that. He's breakfast. Oh, I don't want to pull it into me. No. Oh, no. I am a large star. That's a whole bunch. The graphics on this game are so simplistic, yet so effective. I love it. Oi, oi, oh dear, this isn't good. This isn't good! I can't get out! No! Okay, so this is the uh, respawn screen. You can see uh, you've got the asteroid beginning and a planet. And I think that's a medium star, is it? You can get this where you have like a multi star system, but I've never managed to. Every time I've got close, as, as you just saw, every time I've got close to one, it's not been good. And then you eventually reach a neutron star, which is the step up in my large star, I believe. And then the black hole. So I think I'll go through the big bang and show you the end, shall I? The pinnacle. Here we go. Now, generally, the idea is absorb everything. You are. Oh, absorb that back on. Come here. Come here, you. There we go. The only thing you have to worry about is a bigger black hole, if that makes sense. Because the larger the mass, the greater the pull. Ah, you can see that red thing there? Yeah, that's warning me. Uh, there's a larger black hole over there, and I might want to avoid it. I don't want to... Whoa! Okay. Everything will be consumed. The big crunch. The recycling of the universe. Oh, he's a bigger one. I want to stay away. Nothing would 
escape. Oh, where do you go? I'm dead. Dead, not really dead, but I'm absorbed. I'm consumed. I don't want to black holes there, please. Oh, what? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Son of a bitch! But anyway, there you go. And you eventually reach a stage where you uh, consume the entire universe because you're all that badass. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this look at Soda 2. I recommend it. You can uh, pick it up on Steam. Uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty fun. You know, if you've got like an hour to kill and you don't really like, you know, you know just chilling. Chilling and playing soda. I'll show you some of the uh, options, shall I? So you can save your state. So if you get a really good uh, like solar system going and save it and stuff. you got your respawn options here. Your missions, which ones I've completed and how many there are. I haven't done that many. Because they're really difficult. Um, but yeah, they're all the different ones you can do um, in the different states. So, asteroid missions, planet star. Challenges, um, I believe. I'm not entirely sure what they Let's have a look, shall we? Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm stuck. And then, uh, oh, this is quite good actually. I take that back. <laughs> so those are the challenges. <laughs> then you've got your physics option. You unlock these, as you can see, when you complete the story missions. So all these different factors. You can change your gravity, your life build, time, speed, all this stuff. Achievements! I'm not doing very good on this game. I'm usually a whore for these kind of things, but... Not been very good. And uh, you can modify your controls and uh, your sound options and stuff. So yeah, um, that's pretty much Solar 2. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little look. And uh, I'll put a link to the Steam page down below if I can. I should be able to. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time.